Hey guys, welcome to this video. If you're new here in April, I'm a skincare and gazette chemist and I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, like this video, support the channel. It's the only way that we get to get our video out and um, reach more audience as well as uh, help the engagement and algorithm of our videos. So please support the channel. All right, you guys, as you can tell from the title, this video is about the new Supergroup Daily Dose Vitamin C Plus SPF 40 Serum. Now, I love Supergroup. I have their sunscreen in all forms. I have the spray version. I have the lotion. I have the everyday sunscreen. I have the all scene. So, I mean, I am a Supergroup sunscreen lover. So when they came out with this new product, I said, oh, oh, Supergroup, you're trying to show out? Yes, I'm here for it. I was really excited about these new products and it's been everywhere. It's been literally all over social media. So I'm excited to look into this product. Just at first glance, I was like, okay, it has vitamin C. I really hope it has the potent version of vitamin C. Like I was so, so, so pumped to make sure that it has like ascorbic acid because, you know, I, I, I don't really do derivatives of ingredients. But sadly enough, it has 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid, which is the same. I believe it's the same form of vitamin C that Dr. Dennis Gross has on one of their vitamin C serums. So I was really kind of disappointed about that. It just kind of was like, uh, dang, if you're going to have a vitamin C, at least have the active. But they didn't. So that was definitely like one of the first red flags that I saw. And then I was also like, okay, so it's vitamin C. So vitamin C needs an acidic pH to be stable. So where's the pH? pH is literally not listed anywhere on the website. I looked through and through. There was no listing of the pH which is kind of a bummer like why? 14% vitamin C, which is a great percent for vitamin C. But yeah, there just wasn't any pH listed anywhere. Mind you, this 14% vitamin C is a complex of 10% vitamin C, 2% kakadu plum extract, as well as 2% niacinamide, which is, you know, great. 2% is perfect for niacinamide to work. You don't need any more than that. But unfortunately, I just, I wish that it came in an active form of vitamin C. It is a chemical sunscreen, so it's avobenzone, which is a UVA filter, homosalate, oxysalate, octocrylin. There's no extra oxybenzone because I know a lot of people are worried about oxybenzone so they don't have that on there. It has sodium hyaluronate which is great for plumping the skin. It has a bunch of humectants on there to help with you know giving moisture to the skin. Definitely my major red flags were no pH of the product as well as the vitamin C in it wasn't the active form of vitamin C so definitely bummers that I really wish were in there because I really really wanted to love this product. I was so ready to like order this product because like I said I love super good products because I think their products do really well on my dark skin. I have a about experience. Another ingredient they have here is a marine extract, which has been really popular of late. It helps to protect your skin from blue lights, from like electronic devices, like your cell phone and like your iPads or whatnot. Um, there's still research going on to see how much blue light from our phones and everything else actually penetrates through the skin. Blue light on the color spectrum is very close to UV lights, but the UV light definitely has a lot more strength than blue light. So yeah, like I said, still so much research to figure out how much deep it penetrates into the skin, but um, definitely prevention is better than cure so it's great that brands are now starting to incorporate blue light prevention ingredients into the skincare but it's also important to know that blue light is actually used by dermatologists to treat acne it's actually been practiced for a really long time blue light therapy red light therapy for inflammation i mean these are definitely treatments that have been going on for a long time so just a little fyi there yeah other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video just a really quick video to tell you guys about this new product that has been all over instagram i'm sure you guys have seen it on your ad page and what not it's it's everywhere honestly thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video as always like the video thumbs up share the videos support i have a patreon page now that i will be sharing exclusive behind the scenes whatever i get up to either at work or you know i feel like i just kind of want to share to special people that support my patreon page i'll put it on there so check the link in the description bar and follow me on there i'll see you guys next time bye It's not for me to say